Hi guys. Hi. We're back again for lesson four and hopefully we'll get most of this done in this lesson. So what we'll do is we'll, um, let's finish up some of the highlights on the trees. Okay, because you can see I didn't finish the highlights. And like I say, I'm doing a video so I'm kind of leaving some stuff up to you too because you can, you can do anything that you want to do with this. So I'm going to take some of the the yellow and I am going to add some more highlights to these trees. I found them a bit dark when I looked at the video. So I'm going to add more highlight to the edge of the trees. Now you can use the fan brush again or you can use the flat brush. But we're just going to do the edges for now. Just the edges. Just to bring out the edges. On the video they look kind of um, dull so I'm going to brighten them up. Okay, so we'll use the flat brush because we get a straighter line even though I said it made it was too the flat synthetic brush, okay? And um, you if you do the very edge it'll be alright to have a nice soft edge to it. Because now you have all your uh, tree bark and that done with the uh, fan brush. So let's just put on some extra highlight on the edge. And like I said, for the video, I have to brighten them up a bit more because you can't see them. So we'll just... Shoop. There we go. So I'm just going to add some of this yellow right underneath there and there and there and here. There we go just to brighten it up a little bit for you, that's all. Just to get some brightness to show there's some tree edges there. A little bit here. And some here. Good. And up here. I took out that tree had too much on it, so I took out that went back to my black and dark colors. So I'm just putting on a line there now just to get some highlight. You can scrape on a little bit more if you want, but the light's coming from the from the, the side of the tree, so it's not coming, it's not in front of you, so it should be dark in front of you. So if you find that there's too much highlight here, just take it out. That's all. And just have the edge. There we go. So I think we need some more highlight on. Um, like I say, in the video it may not show it as bright, but if I can add a bit extra, it'll show up. It will. Here we go. On the edge. On the edge. So you can put them wherever you want. If you want less, you can put less on. It'll be your painting, so you do whatever you want. Okay. Let's go a little bit more here, because the closer it is to the light, the brighter it's going to be. Right? There we go. Now, I am going to, let's see, I'm trying to get as light as I can for you. I'll just leave it at that for now, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our small or a medium, I said it was a size 6, it can be, uh, see all the sizes are wore off it now, so that's a, a Bristol brush. I'm going to play around with the grass for a few minutes. So what we're going to do with the grass is, we're just going to tap on some more grass to make it nice and wet. And we'll add a little bit of purple to our grass, so it'll still have that nice earthy look a little bit of, so we don't want it too green, we just want to have a darker color, just sort of some shadows in that there. So a little bit of purple add to your green brings it down to that nice dark green there. And then you're going to just tap around, make it nice and dark down here, get your green, you can use hunter green, any dark green make your purple and then add your green and then add your purple to your green 
That will bring it down to a nice and dark color. So we'll get that down here. And then we will start adding some highlights to our grass. And we'll take some of our grass, bring it up around our trees. And we'll keep adding some grass, and bring it up in our tree. Now don't worry if you lose the bottom of your tree, we'll just go back in and put it back in again. Okay. Bring some grass up around the bottom of the tree here. Just pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay. There we go. So just pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oops, some grass. And that's all you have to do with that. Just tap, tap on your grass. Just tap around your grass. All you're doing right now is just, um, you're just getting the grass more a texture. And you're just going to play with it until you figure out what do you want to do with your grass now? Because we want to highlight certain spots and we want to darken certain spots. So let's say, we, of course, we want to dark light up here. And we want, we want to clean it up up here. Bring up some grass around your trees. There we go. There we go. You can add a little bit of yellow to some of these spots. Okay, so add some yellow to your grass. And bring them up, lighten them up on the side of the light. Okay, maybe there's a few light ones down here. Maybe there's a few light ones here. I'm just making this up as I go along, so, um, so you make it up as you go along too and have some fun with it, you know? But when you're doing a video, you can't stop and say, oh, I think I'll change that, or I'll change this, because I don't want to confuse you guys too much. So now I'm just going to add some yellow to my purplish green, and I'm going to highlight some spots. So we'll just do a little bit of highlighting here and there, wherever you think the light is. Okay. Yeah, and just make nice bright grass here and there. There we go. Good. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in some mist to get it started. I'm just going to wait for that to dry first. And then we'll put in some mist and see. Um, and we'll do a few more things and and hopefully, and then we'll put, while we're waiting for that to dry so we can put some mist in, take your brush that we just used, and we'll put some leaves on the trees. All right, just to, um, all right, so we get some red. We need some yellow. Some red and yellow. All right, squirt. Squirt, squirt. So well, let's tap into a bit of red and a little bit of yellow, okay? Two, they got two colors. And then you're going to just tap on a few little leaves here and there. And we'll, we'll do these in a lighter color just to brighten up the painting a little bit, that's all. So there we go, some nice little leaves. Yep, so just tap into red, tap into yellow, like that. And boom. If it's too much yellow, just go back and get some more red. There we go. Just tap, 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 tap. So you do one tap and then you move away. Okay? Tap, move away. Um, and just put some more on there wherever you want them. Wherever you think they look nice. Red and yellow. Go back and get more paint when you need it. Might want some up here. Probably over here. That's nice. There we go. And some here. Maybe some on these here. There we go. 
yellow and red. And we can probably put some over here. If they're too bright, just add a bit of brown paint, tone them down a bit. There we go. And we put some over here. So wherever you want them, put them on, and you can have whatever colors you want. If you want, would rather have green ones, you can. These are nice. You can tap into red and brown, or umber, just to give you some different colors. There we go. Add some yellow and brown. There we go. Nice. Nice and bright. I'm trying to make it a bit brighter because I want you to be able to see them on the video. Alright, so we keep adding a few flowers. Little ones and big ones. There we go. And use the branches that you made, those, those branches, use them for a guide. Just tap them on top of those branches that you did. That will help guide you to know where you want to put your flowers. Okay, so if you want to make some more branches and put some more flowers on them, you can do that too. So I'm just going to lay them in there, and I think we should be okay so far. We'll just leave those there like that. Maybe we can add a few little tiny ones down there, not too much. We don't want to get too over rambunctious with them. Alright, I don't want to put them too much more. What do you think? What do you think? I'm going to add some darker ones up here. I'm going to tap into my red and my yellow and my brown. And I'll put a couple, let me see, let me see, um, maybe a couple back here. There's a couple of things going on back there. Who knows? We'll just make it up as we go along. Have some fun. I don't like you can always go over it. <laughs> All that hard work. Alright, so just put in a few little, whatever you think. We're going to be putting some mist back here too, so that will take care of those. That will tone them down. When you do your mist, that will tone them down a bit. But you don't have to have those now. So I'm just doing this to, I, I want to add as much as I can, just so I can, you can pick and choose what you'd like to have in your painting. Okay? So that's all there is to it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a few around at the bottom of the tree just to give it as if there's a few flowers down around here. Nothing too much, just a few little, just little taps. See, a little tap, a little dab, a little tap, a little dab here, a little tap here, a little tap there. It'll be kind of nice to brighten up the bottom of the painting there. Okay, that's that. Now. I think that's enough, but you can put a lot more. You can put, like, I, I can see, I can see, let me see, uh, I'll, I can see if I had a line right here, see, change it up and do whatever you want. See, put, put another couple in here, you can put some more flowers on that then, see. So I'm going to just leave that one. I don't know if we need any more. I think it'd be fine. I'm like you and everybody else. I get carried away and I want to just keep adding, adding, adding and can't stop. Don't know when to stop sometimes. Just having fun. Okay. Well, I think we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I think we'll leave it at that. I can't stop. I can't stop. Stop me, somebody, please. Stop me. I can't stop. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. That's not stop. All right, now, I let that dry a bit, so while I'm waiting for that to dry, um, <coughs> excuse me, what? See, we'll play. Uh, let's see. I really would like to have a little more yellow. <coughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Brighten up a little bit there and a little bit here. Just, oh yeah, I know what I wanted to do. I know. I wanted to use my liner brush to pick up some more yellow. 
like this and try to get some more highlight here. There we go. And here. And here. And here. There we go. So, a little bit of highlights on the edges of the trees. And I'm using my liner brush because I'm, I'm using, I'm doing the uh, trunks of the trees, the branches, I should say. Alright, and then I'm going to do this over here, over here. So under the edges of the trees where you think the, the sunlight or the, the light is coming on top of those. Some more over here, here. Okay, over here, maybe a bit, maybe not too much over there. So, so far, so now we're going to lighten up the grass again a little bit. We're almost done now, actually. All we have to do is put it in the mist. Now, I know there's a lot more you can do with it, I know, but, you know, I don't want to go on and on and on with these video, with one video, one lesson. You know, so I want you to play with this and have some fun with it. Make up your own forests. There's many for lots of more forests that you can do. Uh, you can look up pictures of uh, misty forests and, and do your own version. Um, yeah. So uh, what we'll do now is um, lighten up the grass a little bit. Get a little bit of grass up here. Lighten it up, lighten it up. There we go. Just bring it down a little bit where you think that the light is coming in. You don't need it, you know, you don't need to uh, make all the grass yellow. We want to add some light to some parts of it just to show that the light is shining in here. Okay, just a little bit. You can see I'm not using a big lot of paint, okay? I'm going to add a bit of green to it so it's not so bright. <clears throat> a little bit of red. A tiny bit of red and green. And, and that lightens it up a little bit more. There we go. So you can play with, like I said, play with it. Put the light in where you want to. Where you think the light would, would shine the most or be coming in. So, I'm going to add more light at the top here. I'm going to add a bit of white to my yellow. Really brighten it up, see? The brighter it is back here, the nicer it is, see? Now, we don't want that to be a blob. So, I'm going to clean my brush and get a bit of green paint. Tap that into that. Soften it up a bit. There we go. So we'll just bring in a few lights here and there. Like I say, there's so much more we could do, but just give me some ideas. There we go. It's a little bit going on down here. I'm not sure. That's the thing about trying to make it up on your own. You're not really sure where the, where the light would look. You know, with no matter how much experience you have. It's really hard when you're just making up out of your head and you're trying to figure out where do you think that light would look nice or where do you think the darks would be. So it's nice to go by pictures. If you can get pictures and get reference photos and stuff, then go for it because, like I say, it's really hard to make it up as you're going along. Maybe I'm just not experienced enough. I don't know what uh, <coughs> what the deal is. So we'll just leave that for now and then I'm going to do the then I'm going to do the mist. So we'll get mystified. So let me let me take this and um, and have another look and see where the, where the mist goes and uh, just give me a minute because I want it to dry. I don't want to have the mist. And then we'll finish it off on lesson five and do any little touch-ups we need. Sorry about the moving the camera. I bumped into it. So there we go, and you can see 
few things that I'm doing with it. So I'll come back on lesson five and then we'll finish it. And I'll see you soon. So work on your painting and have some fun. If you got any suggestions, uh, leave them in the leave them in the comments if there's anything you would like me to paint for you or if you have any questions. And uh, I'll see you in a uh, lesson five.